we talked for a few minutes and we always told each other we loved each other and um, and that was the last. We have a page dedicated to the victims and their stories on NBCWashington.com. You can hear more about who they were and memories from their families and friends and co-workers. Just search for Navy Yard. We do have some good news to report tonight about some of the survivors of that shooting yesterday. Shamari Stone is outside the MedStar Washington Hospital Center. Shamari? Good evening, Jim. Tonight, that's right, we do have good news to report. Doctors gave the okay for the hospital to discharge a woman who was shot in the head during the shooting rampage. She amazingly survived. A uh, D.C. police source tells me that she's fortunate to be alive. And there are two victims still here being treated at the hospital, one including uh, Scott Williams, the D.C. police officer. Now, tonight, D.C. police are at the hospital here checking on Officer Williams. He's one of their own. It's a very tight community. Uh, uh, your brothers and sisters, these officers are there for each other. Doctors gave the okay for the hospital to discharge that woman, I told you. She was shot in the head and hand. She miraculously survived. Now, a second shooting victim is also in fair condition here. She was a civilian shot in the shoulder. As for Officer Scott Williams, he's in fair condition. He has gunshot wounds on his legs. Earlier today at a news conference, Police Chief Kathy Lanier tells us he's recovering well. Very good prognosis from the doctors. He does have serious injuries uh, to his legs. Um, uh, again, I know the officer and I know his personality. I'm real confident that uh, he not only will walk again, but probably will outrun most of us again. Well, that certainly would be a great sight to see. Now, as for the woman who was discharged and the other woman being treated here at the hospital, officials have not released their names. Live here outside MedStar Washington Hospital, I'm Shamari Stone, News 4.